Hello, hello. Hello, how are you guys? Hello, Nancy, Beatriz, Rolando, Flor, Gabriela. Are you here? Yes. Hello guys, we have to start soon now. Let's go here to the video of the platform. Ahora ya estamos en la sección número 5 de la plataforma. Específicamente en el 5.1, guys. Aquí se los mando por chat, ¿ok? Past with B. So now let's listen here to the video. And then we share, all right? So here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First we need to add a subject we, then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now let's talk about making negative statements in the past with B. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with B. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form 
wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject day. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, let's see here, she, 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 all right. So now I want you to write the year, su año de nacimiento, using the verb be in the past, all right? So right now, vamos a ir aquí, añade una publicación y va a escribir su año de nacimiento. Yo nací en mil y lo demás, all right? So let's go. I was born. Uh -huh. I was born. Exactly. I was born in. Y me pone la fecha. I mean, el año. Oh, All right, let's go. Vamos a añadirlo aquí. En el foro de discusión. So let's go. Let's go. Estamos en el 5.1, guys. Statements with the past of B. Mando por el chat. All right. And let's go. Vamos a tener dos minutitos. So let's go. And then for <coughs> Ya nos queda un minutito, let's go. Nadie lo ha publicado todavía, jamás. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Disculpe, teacher, ¿qué página es? 5.1. 5.1. Gracias. Okay. I'm good. I have one, but it's good. Thank you, Beatrice. Yeah, good. Ah, the 2000. True. <laughs> Thank you, Kenya. <clears throat>
and the others guy what happened the man sent your 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 date let's see only Kenyan batteries and the others five or one Let's see. Okay, good. No tiene acceso a la plataforma, Gabriela. Fíjense que eso estaba intentando, pero no me ha cargado. Entonces, ah. voy a intentar a ver si me carga para subirlo ahí. Ok, no te preocupes. Ok, quizás está un poquito lento, ¿verdad? Right? Let's see. I was born. I was born. All right, good job. So like that. Yo nací, right? I was born, yo nací, and y el lugar. Good. Now, guys, let's practice here. In this case, we're going to practice pronunciation. So now, I need you to repeat after me, okay? So let's go. Where were you born, Melissa? Repeat. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. I was born, was in, born Korea. in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born? Oh, so you weren't born? So you weren't born in the US? In the US? Yes. No, I came here. No, I came here. In 1999. In 1999. En el caso de las fechas, si se fijan, lo partimos en dos dígitos. Así que sí. Igual hacemos con los números telefónicos. Vamos dando de dos en dos. Entonces podemos decir 1999. Right? Es, es otra manera de decirlo. 19 y al final 99. Ok, so repeat with me. 1999. 1999. All right. Hmm. Repeat. Hmm. You were pretty young. You were pretty, you were young. pretty young. Yes. Well, yes. I yes. was only 17. I was, I was only, only 17. 17. Did you go to college? Did you go Did to you college? Did you go to college right away? Right. right. No. 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 My English wasn't very good. My, my English, my English wasn't, wasn't very, very good. good. So I took English classes. So, so I, I took English, English classes. classes for two years first. For, for two, two years, years first. First. Well. Well. well your English is really good now. Your English, Your English is really, really, really good, good now. Thanks. 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 Your English is pretty good too. Your English, Your English is, pretty is pretty good, good too. 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 Yeah. 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 But I was born here. But, but I, was I was born, born here. here. Como le, que le dijeran a usted que bonito su español, right? <laughs> Ignacio aquí. So like that. So now, guys, let's see. Uh, let me check. Uh, good. All right. So in this case, only one thing. Note una. Una por acá de las, de las palabritas, right? Esta, acuérdense. Como el sonido de zapato en Spanish. Thanks. No podemos decir thanks, okay? Thanks. Repeat with me. Thanks. Thanks. All right, Thanks. good. Another one? Alguna palabra que encuentren difícil de pronunciar? Co ese, college. 
30? Cuando dice, did you go to college? Ah, this one. College. Así tal cual como la está diciendo. <laughs> college. Yeah. College. Mm -hmm. Another one? Pretty. Ah, this pretty. one. Uh, pretty. pretty. It sounds like this. Pretty? Pretty. Mm -hmm. pretty. Pretty. Pretty young. Pretty woman. <laughs> pretty. Like pretty woman, like this one, right? <laughs> All right. Now, another one. Only those? They let them easy? Yes. All right. right. Let's okay. practice then. Sorry? In the right away. Ah, that one. Así tal cual como lo dijo. <laughs> right away. This one. El que yo confundo con uno, no sé si es un verbo, pero que dice ride. Ah, ride, de como la moto. Ah, ok, ya. Yeah. Right. En este caso usted es el. Suena como así. Right. <clears throat> right. Uh -huh. Right away. Y ahí como que lo une, right, con el away. Right away. Y el otro es ride. Es cierto, se parece. Ok, so now, let's go here, guys. Where? Ajá. Which one? The, the first one. Where? It's, it's, it's where. Yeah, it's the you. same. Ajá, where? Where? And this one is also where. It's Ajá, the same. Como, yeah, the same pronunciation. It sounds like this, where? Where were you born, Melissa? Y se pronuncian igual. Aquí nada más es contexto, para que usted sepa si es where del lugar o where del verb be in the past. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, ¿qué significa? Where were you born, Melissa? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde naciste? Uh -huh. Exactly. Where sí. were you born? Y usamos where porque tenemos you. Where were you born? Pero se pronuncia igual. Where were? Como que repitiéramos la misma, right? Okay, so now guys, let's go here and let's practice pronunciation. So we start with, let me see. All right, so Gabriela is going to be ah, Chuck and Melissa is going to be Edgar. So let's go. Right. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty, pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college? right away no my my english wasn't very good so i took english classes for two years first well your english is really good now thanks your english is pretty good too yeah but i was born here awesome good job guys so now let's go with the second one. So here we go. Beatrice is going to be Chuck and uh, Edwin is going to be Melissa. So let's go. Hey. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? away? No, my no, my Eng English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. And your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Awesome, thank you, Tim. Only one little detail. Repeat with me. Pretty. 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 
All right, good. Now let's go here. Andrea Jasmine is going to be Chuck and Griselda is going to be Melissa. So let's go. Andrea, are you here? Andrea is aquí. Andrea Jasmine. Yes. So me confirm, please. Y ahora veo el techo. No, maybe she's not here. ¿Quién más está aquí? Los demás no los veo, guys. So I don't know. Lorena is here? Yes. Awesome. So let's go, Lorena. You're going to be Chuck. And Melissa is going to be Griselda. So let's go. Where were you born, Melissa? The microphone, did it send the microphone? Hable ahorita. No se escucha. Ay, hágame un favor, Griselda. Salga y vuelva a entrar, please. Yo creo que. Quizás no se configuró bien lo de su sí. auto. Ah, hoy sí. Yeah. Hoy sí. Ah, yeah. Good. Let's go. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA. No, I come here in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. uh, Podemos leerlo mitad y mitad. Like ok. Eh, en ¿Ah? 1999. Mm, you were the pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was, wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first, first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is, is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. All right, thank you girls. Okay, so now let's repeat with me. Korea, repeat. Korea. 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 All right. And then classes, repeat. Classes. Classes. Recuerden que siempre que tengamos la S al final, hay que pronunciarla, guys. Si no suena como que solo una. Uh, and singular, Class. right? So classes. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Thank you, girls. And now, let's see. Who else is here? Tengo otro voluntario. Let's see. Flor. And who else is here? Kenya. <coughs> Kenya. Are you here, Kenya? Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. So now, let's see here. Okay. So, Chuck. Uh, Kenya is going to be Chuck. And Flor is going to be Melissa, so let's go. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I come here in 1999. <laughs> 1999. 1999. Tenemos que repasar. Yeah, the numbers. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. You're very pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right now? Right away. <laughs> no, my English was very good. So, so I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English 
is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. All right, good job, girls. Only let's practice here. This one. Si decimos Korea, it sounds like in Spanish, right? So we say Korea. Repeat with me, Korea. 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 And now this one. Como hablamos, pueden, lo podemos partir en dos. Podemos decir 1999. Y si queremos decir 1999, 1000. Y decimos todo lo demás. ¿verdad? Pero lo común es siempre en fechas. Partimos mm -hmm. mitad y mitad. 19 mm -hmm. y luego 19. Mm -hmm. All right. And now this one. Do, 2000, 2008, ¿cómo lo leeríamos? 2008. Ese ah. sería 2008. Ah. 20 y el 0 sería O, como O y luego 8. No es 20, Ya, también se puede zero, pero. Cuando está así en medio de números, podemos utilizar el O, como que fuera la O. O, O, H. Pero puede ser cualquiera de las dos maneras, zero o O. Yes. Good question. And now this one, repeat with me, wasn't. 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 Y hay que hacer el wasn't. And this one, classes. 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 Good job. So, like that, guys. You did amazing. And ya habíamos empezado a ver uh, sobre el verb be, so ya ahora más que oh. todo para aclarar, yeah. right? So now, let me go here. Vamos a ver, en este caso, tenemos, let me see. We have an exercise here for you. And this is about the verbs. Vamos a ver si adivinamos los verbos, guys. And in this case, we have, let me see. Uh, regular and irregular verbs in the past. Entonces, ¿cuál es ese verbo? The one in the English. Play. Pero, ¿qué decirme las letras? Give me a letter. Which one? B A B A E L E L A E. Good. Now? D D, this wow. one, D. This one? All right. And now? B. B. Yes. This one? Yes. Okay. L. L. Okay. L. And now? A. 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 Good. D. No, why? Why? <laughs> All right. Why? Good. Played. Now repeat. Played. 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 Now this one. Give me the verb. The letters. It. A. 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 Give me the letters. A. A. All right. E. 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 D. C. 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 Okay. U, U, K, okay. U, okay. <laughs> all right, K, all right, and now E, 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 D, D, e. D. okay, D. and we say cooked, cooked, cooked. Now this one, give me the letters. D, E. R. O. Oh. 
Okay, drunk. 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 Good. Now this one. Um, e S. S. Okay. E. 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 T. O. T. O. T. Ah. T. P. O. 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 And now. Stop. Ah, okay. Stop. 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 Now this one. C. C. L. 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 Okay. I. I. S. 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 T T T T T T T T E W W A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A L L yeah. No L uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. N N T N T T T <laughs> Remember verbs in the past <laughs> went. <laughs> All right. Oh, went. <clears throat> Go in the past, right? Now this one. W. W. A. 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 C. 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 H. C. H. H. E. 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 Good. Easy one, right? Watched. 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 Good job. You finished. No, no, no. So good. Awesome. Now, let's see. We have was aware. Let's check. This one, my parents at the cinema yesterday was aware. Where? 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 Good. Now the next one. You outside last night was aware. Was. Was. Was you? Where? You. Where? Be careful. Were when you outside? Now this one, Sandy, ill, was sweet. Was. Was. Good. Now this one, let's see. The teacher, not at school, not at school last week. Was. 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 Good. Now the next one, the children in the park yesterday afternoon. Where? Where? Good. Now this one. Let's see. All my friends at my birthday party Where? last weekend. Where? Good. Where? Where? All my friends. Where your dog yesterday? Where? Where? What's the way? What? 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 What's your dog yesterday? Now this one, you in the living room. No, I where? Uh, where? 
Tenemos was it wasn't, when, where it wasn't, or where it weren't. Where it wasn't. Where it wasn't. Where it wasn't. Ah, all right. Where, 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 it wasn't. Right? where it wasn't. Yes. Where it wasn't. Yes. Okay, good. Vamos a ver. Mándenme en el chat ahorita quienes creen que B o C. Mándenme la letra B o C. Let's see. Mándenme en el chat aquí de Zoom. Let's see, let's see. Okay. All right. Be careful, okay. En este caso, si tengo I, ¿con cuál va I? ¿Con where o con was? Was. Was. Ah, eso tengo que fijarme, okay. Siempre mi subject. Si no, tenemos problemas, right? Okay, now let's see the next one. My grandparents at home last Monday. What's where? 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 Good. And the next one. <clears throat> I ill yesterday afternoon. What's where? 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 Was. Good. Amazing. You're experts now. Good job. Now, let's see the last one. Okay, now with this one. Mary Curry. And we have, was a teacher? Was Pierre Curry's aunt? Were born in 1867? Was born in Poland. Was a teacher? Okay. Aquí aplicaban cualquiera de las dos. <laughs> Más de historia, I think. Okay, so now this one. Messi, were born in Argentina, was born in Santa Fe, was born in 2000, was a re river play player. Letter D. Letter D. 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 Were born in Argentina. Was born. Uh, Ah, pero aquí dice we're born in Argentina. Is it good? ¿Está bien escrito? No, because no. it's where. Ah, no. yeah, right. Ah, entonces, mm. si no es esa, ¿cuál es? Letter B. Letter B. Was born in Santa Fe. Was born in Santa Fe. Was born in was a river play. I don't know. Y también aplicaba was a river play player. En la estructura, ¿verdad? En la realidad, we don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Now, this one. We have Einstein and Isaac Newton. Was physicists? Were no. from Germany? Were famous physicists? Or was born in the same year? Were famous physicists? Ah, where, right? Si aquí decimos solo were from Germany, también aplicaría, pero no sé si son los dos son de alemán. I'm not sure. All right, now this one. San Martín was born in Córdoba, Argentina. Was a military and politician. Was born in France or was born in 1776? Was a military and politician. Okay, good. Actually, en esta es cualquiera de las respuestas es, creo que aquí es más de la, de la historia, I mean, de, de si conocemos sobre él, right? Pero vamos a probar. Yeah, good. All right, now the next one. Isaac Newton was born in the UK. Where from England? Was a musician or was born in 1680? Uh-huh. Was I born said mute. Okay. Maybe see. the letter A and D. Yeah. Aha, cualquiera de los dos aplicaba, right? En estructura. <laughs> Now this one. Who were Pierre and Mary Curie? They were husband and wife. They were born in the USA. They were born in 1967. They were scientists. They were born in the USA. Okay, let's see. Ah, no. 
Así es esta y es otra más. ¿Sí? Ah, pues no, era la, they were scientists. Pero la estructura, ya, yeah, es good. Now, Juana Azul. Yes, sorry. What, sorry? Científicos. Ah, scientists. Scientists. Like that. All right, now this one. Juana Azul. Azurduy was from Argentina, was born in Bolivia, was born in 1970, or was a poet? I don't know. Was and the structure? Was born in Oxford. Was born in Bolivia. Okay. And the structure? Good. Cualquiera, cualquiera de las cuatro, right? En la realidad, ahí adivinando. <laughs> okay. Good. So now, guys, we have here, let's say, we have the exercises in the platform. Vamos a verificar si lo hicimos bien, right? And now, in this case, we have was, where, tenemos wasn't, it weren't, dependiendo si es negativo o afirmativo, right? So in this case, we have my family and I. Si digo mi familia y yo, y lo quiero poner en un, en un pronombre, ¿cuál pronombre sería? Where? We. we. Ah, we, right? Entonces, we lo utilizo con was o con where? Where. where. Ah, entonces, where. my family and I were all born in South Korea. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, this one. We wasn't we. aware and born in the U.S. Wearing. Wearing. Where. Weren't born in the U.S. Good. Now this one, I was aware, born was. in the city. I was born in was. the city of Incheon, I don't know the pronunciation, and my brother was born there too. My parents wasn't or weren't born. Weren't. Good. Weren't. And then we have they was or were born in the capital. Weren't. Good. And now this one. In South Korea, my father was aware a businessman. Was. Was. All right. Good job. Amazing. Ya lo tenemos super clarito, right? And now we have here questions. And in this case, with the past of B. So pay attention to the video. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of be. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you, Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. 
born in the US? To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark, born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so now I have a question for you. So now, if I ask, for example, were you born in, um, let's see, were you born in La Unión, Beatriz? ¿Cómo sería la no, respuesta? I wasn't. Ah, good. Y si pregunto, where were you born? I born in Cojutepeque. Ah, okay. Y solo digo, I born? I was. Ah, good. I was born. All right, good. So thank you. Gracias por ser mi modelo. So now let's see. Uh, Griselda, uh, were you born in Santana? Oh, I was in East Zacatecoluca. Okay. Mm -hmm. Si es no, ¿cómo respondo? Si es no. I, no, I wasn't. Not good. Y si luego le pregunto, where were you born? Um, I, I, um, me está dónde, 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 dónde nació. Uh, uh, where dónde, were you sí. born? Eh, respondería en el pasado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I born in Santiago Nonual. No ah, sé. Ok. In that case, y quiero que lo vean así. ¿Cómo decía en el, en el, en el esquema? Let me share here with you. La Ahí palabra está. que tiene que contener W, que ya puede ser cualquiera de esas, más el pasado, dependiendo si es, puede ser was o were, más subject, y después el complemento o verbo, ¿verdad? Con, no, verbo. No, no lleva verbo, es comple complemento. Ok. Por ejemplo, la primera pregunta dice, ¿Were you born in Santa Ana? Uh, ¿Were you born in Santa Ana? Solo puedo tener en este caso dos respuestas. Una sería, yes, y la otra sería, no, no. no. I was. Uh, porque estoy preguntando, ¿naciste en Santa Ana? ¿Ah? Sí o no, right? Entonces puedo decir, yes. ¿Qué más? I do. But I was. I were without no edge. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. Si es o afirmativa o negativa, mm -hmm. right? Y luego en la segunda pregunta le digo, where were you? Born. Entonces aquí estamos preguntando dónde, right? Where. Y en este caso tenemos where were you born. Entonces en mi respuesta qué voy a escribir. Um, I was. I was born in. Entonces siempre debo incluir en este caso. La forma del verb be. Dígame, Beatriz. In the first question is where without age. Ah, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Were you born in Santa Ana? Yeah, like that. Thank you. My mistake. Era para ver si estaban despiertos, guys. 
<laughs> All right, so where are you born in Santa Ana? Y tenemos, yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Y luego, where were you born? Donde, right? Where? Where are you born? I was born in y el lugar. Entonces aquí tenemos place. All right. So now, así siguiendo la misma estructura, guys. Let's see. Were you born in La Libertad de Winter? No, I wasn't. Okay, where were you born? I was born in Chalatenango. Oh, me too, so I passed. All right, so now, do you live in Chalatenango? No, I uh, live in San Salvador. All right, I, I do, I live in Chalatenango. <laughs> okay, now let's go here, let's see, Lorena, where... Were you born in, let me see, were you born in San Salvador? No, I was, no, I was, ¿se puede? Ah, ¿cómo, cómo respondo si es un no? No, I was not. Okay. And now, were you born, where were you born? I am born, I was born. In Santa Tecla. Ah, good. Now, let's see, Gabriela. <clears throat> uh, were you born in Sonsonate? No, I wasn't. Where were you born? I was uh, born in Aguachapan. Okay, that was second. Now, uh, let me see. Flor, are you here? Flor, si está aquí. Yes, so. All right, let me see. Kenya, are you here? Yes. Ah, que soy. Ah, ya la vi. Okay, so Flor, <laughs> were you born in uh, San Miguel? No. Eh, si es un no, como you... completo. Si es no, como completo la respuesta. Si digo, no, yes, no si digo yes, ¿cómo es la respuesta? Sí. Ah, Pero, ¿qué más lleva la respuesta? Yes, I do. Ok, en este caso, como estamos hablando de pasado, ¿ya yes, está? Pasado. I was. I was. Yes, I was. Si es negativo, hay. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay, good. And now the second question. Where were you born? Uh -huh. Where were you born? No, I wasn't. Ah, pero ahora el lugar. Where? No. Where were you born? ¿Dónde mm -hmm. vivo yo? Yes. Siguiendo esta estructura. De la... I live in the libertad. Uh, where were you born? ¿Dónde nació? The... I was born in, in San Vicente. Ah, okay, good. Now, let's see. Who else is here? Let me see. Andrea, are you here? No? Okay, let's see. Kenya? Where were you born? Ah, le pregunté la segunda. Where are you born in? Let me see. Where are you born in Cabañas? Kenya? I lost her. The internet. Okay, let's see. Los demás se me han ido, guys. What's happening? Ya casi terminamos, don't forget. Okay, so now, let's see. We have to practice the past. So, in this case, we have to create a crazy story. And now, we're going to 
uh, make this story about this girl. Entonces, lo primero es ponerle un nombre, but it has to be crazy. All right. So now, give me a crazy name for her. Her name is? Give me Lower. crazy names. Mary. <laughs> Which one? Oh, a crazy name. Your name is Mary. Mary, but Mary, no, it's not crazy. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Crazy. Flower. Flower. Okay, let's see. Flower. Like this. Flower. Yes. <laughs> like in Spanish, rosa, right? Oh. I know flor is la cosa. <laughs> okay. Now, give me another name, but a crazy name. A crazy Brittany. name. Nombre loco. <laughs> Brittany. Okay. <laughs> Brittany. Okay. A crazy name. Come on. Give me crazy names. Pito. Sorry? Chupito. Lupito. Chupito. Ah, Chupito. Pero no sería Chupita. Because Chupita. it's a girl. I don't know. Chupita. Okay. Give me another option. Vamos a votar. ¿Cuál, cuál de las tres? It's crazier. Mm -hmm. Chupita. Another one. Chupita. Okay. Which one? Okay, so let's vote then. So, do you think flower is crazy? Brittany or Chupita? No. Which one do you choose? ¿Cuál crees que es más loco? Chupita. All right. So, let's see. So, Chupita in this case. So, her name is Chupita. And now, she is. Chupita is like, like nickname. <laughs> yeah, I know. And now, in this case, give me a crazy number that para la edad de Chupita. Mm -hmm. Eight, nineteen. One hundred years. Ah, mm -hmm. one hundred years old, Chupita. <laughs> All right. And now she lives in, and give me a crazy place. A crazy place to live. Cayman Island. Ah, Cayman Islands. Like that, right? Pero son Cayman, son islas o es isla? Only one. Islas, Cayman. Islas, right? Islands. In okay. plural, yes. Cayman Islands. All right. So now, let's see. We cook, but in the past, vamos a crear una oración. Mm -hmm. Hablando de ella, en este caso Chupita, right? So she... And now cook in the past. Cook. 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 All right. She cooked. And now give me a, something crazy. Que algo loco que haya cocinado. Uh -huh. She cooked. Uh -huh. Something crazy. The moon. Crocodile soaps. Ah, crocodile. Let me see. Uh -huh. Croco. Crocodile. Crocodile. Crocodile soup. Okay. She cooked crocodile soup. <laughs> okay. And now, also, she and travel in the past. Traveled. Traveled. Okay. traveled. Also, she traveled to, and give me a crazy place. At the moon. Ah, to the moon. <laughs> Germany, is it crazy? <laughs> All right, and now <laughs> this one. After that, uh -huh, she studied in the past. Studied. Ah, good. Studied. She studied, and now give me something crazy. Algo loco que he estudiado, Chupita. What? The zombies. Ah, she studied the zombies. All right. And now, after that, she studied the zombies. All right. And she was, and now her profession. ¿Cuál sería su profesión si estudia zombies? Matar. <laughs> no, the profession. A killer. Excellent scientist. A killer. Ah, killer she was a crazy scientist. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay. So now, guys, I need you to practice this one for tomorrow, okay? Mañana lo vamos a practicar. La, okay. la historia de Chupita. So right now, se la voy a mandar aquí en el WhatsApp para que la puedan So let me see. Porque ya se nos acaba el tiempo. All right. Ahí les mando la historia. So practice, okay? Por lo menos pronunciation. All right. Good. So remember, guys, tenemos mañana y pasado, and then we finish. So, ya van a tener vacación. Please stay here. Vengan a clase, participen esos dos últimos días que ya terminamos, okay? So, thank you guys for staying. Bye bye. See thank you tomorrow. You. Thank you, teacher. Good night, bro. Good night. Good night. See you.